ni haja ya moyo wangu my brothers and sisters we are so glad that the lord god has kept us you will all recall that mid the month of march this nation was hit with the news that we have received the first case of coronavirus the rest is history and we for a long time for the last 3 months have been glued on our televisions and we have been listening to mutahi kagwe and the president giving statements and the number of cases have been rising every other day and our hearts were filled with fear numbers had been projected that we were going to see astronomers numbers that were rising high and high but we want to thank god that he has preserved you and he has preserved me i think about this and recall the times of moses when he was faced with a great army of pharaoh after him with chariots and right in front of him was the red sea and people were crying to moses did you bring us out here to die and you know we were fearing we were told that people will die in africa worse than they we saw in china and we all went before the lord and i recall saying that unless the lord god protects africa we shall be wiped out and we called upon the name of the lord just like the way the israelites called upon the name of the lord when right behind them were the, the pharaohs and in front of them was the red sea and god heard their prayer and today i want us to read the song of moses that who he sang that is genesis uh, exodus chapter uh, 15 verses 1 it says then moses and the children of israel sang this song to the lord and speak saying i will sing to the lord for he has triumphed gracious gloriously for the horse and the rider he has thrown into the sea the lord is my strength and song and he has become my salvation he is my god and i will praise him my father's god and i will exalt him verses 3 says the lord is a man of war the lord is his name pharaohs and chariots and his army he has cast into the sea his chosen captains also are drowned in the red sea the depths have covered them they sank to the bottom like the stone your right hand o lord has become glorious in power your right hand o lord has dished um, uh, dashed the enemy in pieces and the greatness of your excellence you have overthrown those who rose against you you sent forth your wrath i want to believe that we can also this sing this song with the children of israel in march we were faced with a very very hard hard truth very painful truth that corona was with us and we went before the lord we fasted we prayed and the lord god has heard us and the hand of corona although it crept in and has been our following and after our being after our lives we want to take this opportunity to say that indeed god has been so gracious to us and we are going to gloriously uh, excel and get out of this calamity out of this pain i believe it I know it and because God has spoken good about this nation we shall be rescued from this coronavirus. I want you to sing this song together with me and praise God for the greatness that the, for the greatness that he has shown to us. We did not have enough to protect ourselves. Neither did we have enough beds. Indeed it has been the Lord. Although today we are saying that we have over 8000 cases almost hitting 9000 if we have not hit 9000 but still god has been so gracious our brothers and sisters are getting well yes they are getting sick but they are getting well and even those that have gone ahead of us we know that god has been gracious to their families and i want to take this opportunity today 
to thank you all for praying together with us. And I want to welcome you into rejoicing together with us as we remember the words that were written in the book of Psalms 126. And that is a psalm that I want us to read. And then I will pray together with you. That tells about the greatness and the goodness of the Lord and the way God has indeed delivered and taken us out of the calamity. I want us to read this and then I pray together with you. When the Lord brought back the captivity of Zion, we were like those who dream. Then our mouths were filled with laughter and our tongues with singing. And they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. And I want to say this. When I stood here, when I stood at the altar, at the, at the altar, and I spoke to the church when we were taking a break. I said, it is the Lord God who is going to deliver Africa. It is the Lord God who was going to deliver Kenya. And I want to thank God that indeed God has preserved us. It is not the DNA in our blood. It is not the, the color of our skin. But it is by the grace of God that we have been protected. And so this, this day, this evening... I want to wish to, to, to thank God for you, that God has kept you. I want to thank God for the great things that he has done. For indeed, very soon, our mouths shall be filled with laughter, having seen how God has delivered us. May the Lord God bless you. Those of you who have continued following us on Facebook Live, those who have continued following us on YouTube, and even on Makinika Online Radio, may the Lord God bless you. Indeed, you are the reason why we made all the effort to record and send these messages to you and now we want to welcome you back into the house of the lord god has delivered us welcome back into the house of god let us worship the lord together let us glorify his name indeed jehovah god has destroyed the 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 the, 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 the horse and the horse rider he has taken away the calamity of coronavirus by faith in jesus name and soon we shall come back to the house of the Lord with songs and laughter, for the Lord God has done it. Before I pray with you, I want to let you know that we will continue bringing these messages to you live through our three channels, Facebook Live, YouTube, and on Makinika Online Radio. Every morning from between 5 and, uh, 5 and 6 a.m., we come to you through the glorious hour and we believe that God is blessing you. Every Tuesday, we congregate in our homes and we lead, uh, uh, we lead you on prayers. And our, uh, our resident pastor and the prayer team has always been at hand to lead us in prayer. And we want to say God bless them for the good work they have done over the three months. And on Wednesday, we send you materials right to your home through your growth center leaders. Materials for Bible study so that you can now nourish your inward man. And on every Thursday, we bring Bible study to you, also hosted by our resident pastor, Pastor Moffat Ngodiro. I believe God has been blessing you and has been ministering to you. We continue with the same programs again. Please do not forget to be tuning in to listen to this. And on every Sunday, we shall be coming to you we shall be transmitting these messages, the messages, the, our services to you live. And also our church will be opened as from the 19th of July this year. And I believe that we shall not close the doors of this church again by God's grace. And our children, we believe that very soon they shall get back to church. They do that which they know to worship and praise God. For now, may the Lord God bless you and keep you and may he sustain you. Let's pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you for giving us yet another opportunity to continue serving you in this church. And I want to thank you for our listeners and viewers who have continuously followed these messages that we have been bringing through Facebook and even YouTube. And all those who have been listening to us through Makinika Online Radio. Lord God, it has been a hard moment. It has been a tough time, Lord. But we want to thank you that by your grace, we have been preserved. And we have come this far 
because of your hand upon us. And now, Lord God, I want to bless your people. As they start this week, my Father, I pray that your blessings be upon them. Let your grace be sufficient upon their lives. For it is in Jesus' name I pray and commend your people to you. Amen and amen. May the Lord God bless you and keep you. Let's meet every day as we have highlighted to you for fellowship and continuing to worshiping God. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you.